where it is. So Marianne, yeah. after almost three decades in television, yes. what made you want to become a stand-up comedian? Being in television for three decades, that's what did it. Because, I, yes. Because after three decades, you see, there is a, a glass ceiling of ageism that befalls most women in Hollywood. Really? Yeah, and I bumped my head up against it. It was sad. Uh, I didn't shed any blood, though. Okay. Uh -huh. Fortunately, when I graduated from SIU, I had a double major theater and journalism. And when I moved to New York, I chose New York over LA because that's where the serious theater people go. The theater And it was the 70s, and I wanted to be a serious actress. So I moved to New York, and I did a lot of theater. I studied at the Negro Ensemble Company, nice. where Lawrence Fishburne and Robert Thompson were my classmates. And I think having that background, and I say this to all young actors, if you get a really strong background in the theater, because you know today everybody wants to be a star, because you can be on reality TV, you don't need to have any talent, you just need to have a personality. No, you can be famous from YouTube, Facebook, Absolutely. right, yes. But if you're serious about going back to being a storyteller, and you're serious, serious about your art, then you should get some really good training. And that's, I think that, that's what really stood me in good stead over the long haul. Okay. Because once they stopped calling me, you know, people ask me, is it, oh, do you still ask? I say, yeah, when they call me, when they let me, I sure do. But in the meantime, uh, I was able to develop my own um, theatrical productions. Okay. I did sketch comedy with Iona Morris. We had a show that we took to the National Black Theater Festival uh, called Moist which is an acronym for the Multiple Orgasm Initiative for Sexual Transformation. Oh my, what, what is all of that? Excuse me? What does all that entail? Well, it's about, see, the media has hypnotized us into believing that women lose value as they get older. Okay. Especially when it comes to their sexual viability. And I'm about changing all of that because I think women get smarter and more comfortable with themselves and their mm -hmm. bodies. We know a little more, we have a few more tricks, we know some stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. We have more confidence and we take good care of ourselves, you know? Yeah. And I think that, you know, we got a little something, something going on that people aren't paying attention to and I'm about making them pay attention. Okay. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So women of a certain age really yes. should look at themselves like that. Excuse me. You now you we are in the same. You are yeah, looking you, at me. You fine. You are. Thank you. you. I mean, if they did, if, if they did the reboot of good times, <laughs> you'd be the new along wood. You would. You, you'd be her. You really would. But you fine. You are. You really are. And somebody, you know, I can see you getting up with somebody. Are you like, a cool girl? No. Oh no. 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 You I mean, are? I mean. No, I have I have dated younger men. Mm -hmm. I, I've been married twice. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, I was married for most of my adult life until I wasn't anymore. Okay. I married my um, my first husband was my college boyfriend. Mm hmm And so I married the first man I ever. Oh 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 okay. Had carnal knowledge of. All right. <clears throat> and um, I really don't recommend it. I mean, I'm. Probably going to sound like a slut, but I don't care uh -huh. because I think uh, if I'm a slut, I'm a smart slut. Uh, I think that women should sort of um, should. I mean, would you buy the first dress that you tried on? Oh. No. Okay. So I don't think you should necessarily marry the first man you try on either. Okay. You know, so I think you should explore and experiment. And people are waiting till they're. In their late 20s. See, I got married when I was 22, 23. Okay. And uh, which is good, you know, at the time, that's what women did. But women are not doing that anymore. They're waiting till later. And I'm kind of like living my life in reverse. Okay. 